Hi, my name is Alex, CTO at Rentcentric, and for the next few minutes, I'll be showing you some of the key features of Rentcentric RV rental management system. One of the most important features of Rentcentric related to RV is the rental rate management. In Rentcentric, you're able to set up multiple rates for one or more vehicle types. In this example, high season for class C, um, we're able to set up the daily rate, weekly rate, and the monthly rate. And under advanced, you're able to set up not only standard rates, but also multi-day rates, which means you can have uh, minimum two days and maximum five days of rate. And what you do, you enter the minimum and the maximum number of days allowed on the rental. And this rate will come up specifically for those rental contracts or reservations you're making in the system. Another feature is you can have a generator rate. So basically you can have uh, the generators installed on the vehicles uh, being charged for the hourly usage on those generators. So you can have uh, $1 an hour and allow the user to use the generator, for example, uh, five hours a day and uh, 35 hours a week and 150 hours a month and if the user or the customer goes over uh, the allowed generator hours uh, you can basically charge them one dollar an hour and we'll touch base on that uh, at the checkout process another uh, uh, specific rv feature in rent centric is under the location setup you're able to set a propane uh, unit charge so you can keep track of the propane level at the checkout process and the check-in process and charge the customer for the propane usage. And we'll again touch base on that when we get to the uh, checkout and the check-in process. So now let's go ahead and uh, generate a quote. But before that, I would like to quickly show you uh, the uh, propane level uh, on the vehicle setup itself. Uh, in this case, uh, this is our in-fleet. Um, I'll pick one of the vehicles, which is a Fleetwood uh, Expedition. If I go to the vehicle specifications, not only you can set up uh, all the options on this vehicle, but also you can uh, set the uh, propane level uh, on the vehicle and also the uh, propane tank size. Uh, and in this case, you can uh, charge uh, the, the customer for the propane usage of the vehicle, just like the fuel level. So let's go ahead and generate a quote, real-time quote. Um, in this case, uh, let's say the customer is asking from uh, the 8th for 7 days and the pickup location is Sun & Sun RV rental and they're asking to drop the vehicle or the RV at another location. In this case, Rentcentric um, uh, provides one-way fees or uh, one-way uh, setup uh, for your company so you can have one-way fee set between different locations or even different regions. As you can see, the one-way is dynamically populated uh, based on your setup. You can have it flat by region or you can have it by the distance. So we're going to go ahead and select one of the vehicle types and select the rate. And here at the bottom, we can pick any of the uh, additional charges if the client is interested and click on generate quote. And there we go. The quote is generated uh, by uh, with the add-on options. And as you can see, uh, the total amount is showing up. You can also set up a deposit under each specific vehicle type uh, based on the percentage or a flat amount uh, that uh, will show up on the charges summary. So we can go ahead and save the quote. John Smith johnsmith.com and a phone number. So let's go ahead and save the quote. And now I have a uh, real-time quote number, so you can always go back and look up this quote and reference uh, the generated quote before. Uh, I can uh, go ahead and start a rental from this point by carrying over the information or reserving this vehicle. You can simply email the quote to the client by entering their email address or copying and also uh, browsing for any uh, promotional attachments or PDFs. And this will be the quote 
going out to your customers uh, with the specific charges summary by just clicking on send email. You can also click on send SMS if you want to quickly send this um, uh, 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 quote to the client uh, uh, cell phone or mobile device, you can simply enter their cell phone number and select their uh, provider and send the SMS to uh, the client's uh, cell phone number for them to have uh, a copy or the reference uh, from the quote. And here you can also click on print and just have the, the quote printed uh, if you want to hand out a hard copy to, to your client. So let's go ahead and, and do a rental. In this case, I can just click on rent now. You can easily search by the customer. I'll just enter Alex. Here I have a test client in the system. The information gets populated because we already have the client in the database. You can also swipe the driver's license or use ID scanner and uh, scan the driver's license into the system. If everything is okay, you just click on save and go to agreement tab. And in this case, you can enter uh, the number of days, but also remember if you had a reservation and you're coming from the reservation, all this information would have been pre-populated for you. So we can select class C or any other vehicle type you have in the fleet, pick the rate and search for the vehicle. And as you can see, the hour out will be populated dynamically from the vehicle. In this case, uh, this was zero. Uh, if the hour out on the generator is, let's say 15, you can enter uh, the 15 and keep track of the hours currently uh, at the checkout process. Also the propane level, uh, if uh, the, there was some propane uh, in the vehicle, you can simply drag and drop this, same as the fuel level and uh, specify exactly how much propane is in the vehicle. Also, again, in this case, you can pick any additional charges the client needs and click on update charges summary. And at this point, you can simply enter the credit card, uh, Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and pro uh, enter the card number and process the credit card through Rencentric, or you can just simply swipe the credit card and process in real time and get an authorization uh, from your preferred bank. Uh, in this case, we can go ahead and take the signature from the client, click on save, and from here you can select any of your rental contracts or, or agreement forms and simply click on complete and print the agreement. And that's it. We have printed the agreement, the signature shows up, and the rental agreement is open. Now, if you want to go back and print any of the rental forms that we provide with the system, you can simply look up the agreement. This takes us to the agreement page. You can go to the print agreement invoice. And in this case, we have so many different uh, rental forms that we offer uh, with the system, which you're still able to customize. And uh, I can quickly show them to you. Amenities and extras. Go back, let's pick check-in and check-out. And these are the check forms uh, for you to check if everything is okay. Departure checklist. Again, these come by default uh, in the system and you can always ask us to customize it for you. Insurance form. Operation strong. These are all checkboxes you can take on, off or on. Uh, rental contract or let's say reservation booking app. And this is the reservation form, which all these forms get populated dynamically from the data that's in the system. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform a checking process. So let's say the customer is back. You would like to go to close the agreement. And again, as you can see, you can enter the uh, uh, date in, um, uh, odometer in, and as well as fuel, you can enter the propane level in and the hours in for your generator. 
And in this case, the system will automatically charge generator hours and add it to the charges summary as well as the propane charge. And again, you can select the uh, uh, payment method. If you have any credit card on file, it would have shown here and you, you could have applied the payment and close the rental agreement. Another important feature um, of RentCentric is uh, 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 extensive reporting. Uh, RentCentric comes with um, a lot of different reports for vehicles, customers, uh, rentals and reservations and management uh, for your accounting. One of the most important reports that are used in um, RV industry or motorhome rental industry is a dynamic agreement reservation calendar. So you can pick the start date and end date. In this case, we're taking, uh, picking 1st of September to end of September and running the report. And the system will show you in a graphic uh, 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 toolbar um, all the reservations and the rentals. So the, the darker greens are um, the rentals, rental agreements, and the lighter greens are the reservations. And this will actually allow you to drag and drop reservations between, uh, it actually warns you if it's uh, not the same vehicle type, between different vehicles in order to make your uh, reservations um, uh, or, or your fleet fully utilized. So you can simply drag and drop and move the reservations between different vehicles and you can run it up to three months and it gives you a very good uh, graphical um, uh, reporting that uh, uh, allows you to make the best out of your fleet. Another great feature is uh, allowing your customers to make online booking. RentCentric comes with a, uh, a completely separate section that works in real time with your database called Web Customer. You're able to set up emails, uh, uh, different designs, and uh, 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 different setup, for example, what kind of information you would like to take from the customer, what kind of rate you would like to show up online. Um, you can add or edit more web pages. And uh, basically, to access that uh, online reservation, which you can link from your own home page, you simply click on this link and it takes you to your online reservation, which again comes with your system. So, this online reservation website is 100% customizable. Uh, you can change the header, footers, colors, uh, the rotators, the pictures, everything is customizable by the user. So here you have the rotator. Uh, you can simply pick one of the vehicle types. And um, the user is able to see the rate. Also, they can see coverages and options. If, for example, they want to see a tow dolly, uh, uh, they can click on it. They can see the starter kit. And if they like it, they can simply click on it and it will add it to the total amount. They will also see the rest of the options uh, which they can pick any other vehicle type you have in the fleet. If everything is okay, they can click on reserve this vehicle and uh, enter their first name, last name, or any other information that you would like them to put in. You can dynamically populate this form and they can make the booking and you will get a real-time email uh, sent to you and the customer after the booking is complete. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us at sales at rentcentric.com.